Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. Since your apologist was not able to do some videos for the last few uh, weeks held up with some implementation, so uh, sincere apologies for that. I guess uh, today, 15th of July, uh, most of you should have seen an uh, email from Google that Google is starting, uh, GCP is starting its 26th region, second region in India. So we had seen in the past some of the videos where you can easily understand or demystify uh, when a new region is going to come by just looking into the default PPC. So I'll put that link in the description. Now you have two regions basically in India uh, or in any specific uh, country if you see two regions what can you expect uh, next from those two regions is what I wanted to share. Uh, just a disclaimer, uh, I am not a Google insider. I don't have any information of what's happening inside. But based on the understanding which I have uh, gained, I thought let me share you that. And what I'm say, sharing may come into future, uh, come into existence uh, or it may not come. But just an understanding based on what I have seen. So let's see. As I mentioned, people who have not seen it, so uh, the new region in this thing. So. The launch date was on 15th of July and just uh, information like based on the default VPC concept which I had mentioned. So I had posted it one month before itself that possibly uh, Delhi is going to come up soon is what I had mentioned. And if you just come to this screen basically you see which was previously 25 now it is 26. Now most of them just stop it here. But as a cloud architect, a true cloud architect in GCP, what should you do is basically you need to scroll down, folks. Only when you scroll down, you will come to know what is going to be available. So in Asia specific, Delhi, so second region in India, so you see you can create virtual machines. So this is what an architect is more uh, towards, right? What resources are available in which region? Now, if you want to focus it towards uh, provisioning resources in Delhi, so are all the resources in GCP available? Currently may not be. So that is very clear. So compute engine I can create it. App engine I cannot create it. Kubernetes engine I can create. Cloud functions uh, I cannot create it. So that's what it indicates. And if you see into storage, most of the storage except Firestore is not going to be there. The reason is Firestore and App engine has a very tight relationship. So if App engine becomes available, your Firestore will get uh, will be available. That's something which you see. Uh, then Cloud Composer, some slightly high-end uh, high products usually or uh, slightly big data kind of products are not available in Delhi currently it what shows. Now, I mentioned that uh, what next? What's next when you uh, have two regions in the same country? Now, the, uh, the reference point for that is I'm going to take Japan as an example where there are two regions Tokyo and Osaka, so both are in the same country. Now, using that, what I have we achieved, I can try to apply the same thing to Delhi and Mumbai, which is in uh, India. So, if I just take this example, first, let me just show you uh, the logic which I use to see whether, uh, what's the new region going to come up. So, now if I see, uh, my in my default VPC, I see 28. So, but if you look into the regions, it's only 26, meaning two more regions are going to come soon. Um, if I look into it, one is going to be something in a second region in uh, Canada. So we already have one. The second, the next one is going to be uh, Melbourne. So that's what it indicates, meaning one more, I guess Toronto, if I'm not wrong. So that's what it's going to come up. Uh, then is Melbourne. That's what it indicates. Now, can I create VMs? It's not just seeing it here that you can create VM you can go ahead and create a VM uh, in Delhi and you can see it should be possible to create it for example if I create instance basically I should be able to select basically if I click on restore so I see this is having an issue let me just click on Delhi so instance Delhi I'm just going to leave everything as default and if I click on create, I should be able to create an instance in Delhi uh, in no time. So I see an error basically. Uh, okay. Okay. One minute. Glitches. Let me just try to create a standard one. So instance Delhi. If you're curious to see what is the error, basically uh, does not support on host maintenance equal to terminate. So something to do with EC, uh, E2 series. For now, I'll make it as 
N1 series so I should not have much issues and let me just check out whether uh, under my settings yeah this is all good so let's get see whether we can create our instance in Delhi uh, so if everything goes fine we should be able to see the instance in Delhi so let's wait for this and by the time we see this what else you can create basically because you can create a virtual machine means Kubernetes cluster you can definitely create because behind the scene is going to use managed instance group so that is something possible so let me just refresh it just to see whether I can see it awesome so we are able to create and this is the internal IP address which comes from your VPC the sub network which you define so that's good and uh, what next you can expect uh, as a uh, two regions in the same country so this is again as I mentioned I'm taking the example of Osaka and trying to explain the concept here Osaka and um, what was that um, Tokyo and Osaka now uh, if I just, just use my project ID itself for a minute uh, now you have a concept of dual region so where the data is going to get replicated only between two regions now if you see there are few uh, dual regions available now in Asia you have something called as Asia 1 so which is going to be Tokyo and Osaka so now the data gets replicated only between uh, these two regions and both are in the same country now any organization in Japan should not have any issues storing the data within the same country the data compliance part so maybe what you can expect in the future I'm not sure whether it's going to come true or not but what you can expect is because you are already having two regions in India now so maybe something like Asia 2 is what you can see so where you can get a dual region storage uh, location type in GCP that is something possible this is one possible stuff now going back app engine as we saw very clearly app engine is not available so how do we verify it if I just go to app engine create an app engine I will come to know there's only in India I can create it sorry in Mumbai only I can create it Asia South one so I don't see basically south 2 which is Delhi so very exactly showing clearly and here is where I can say uh, where cloud run can become very uh, handy so cloud run has a better future is my understanding again based on the uh, the implementations which I did compared to app engine I feel cloud run could be a good choice now immediately you want to show something which is serverless web application scale down to zero App Engine is not available in Delhi, but if you want to show it to some of the customers in Delhi, you can use Cloud Run. You just need to containerize it. So there's also an option without writing a Docker file, you can do it from the source. That is something which is possible. The second thing which I wanted to show is uh, what you can expect in the future is Spanner, folks. Spanner, we know it is a highly scalable uh, relational database which can basically span across uh, regions and multi regions so region yes uh, you see Delhi is there already so no worries there so that's one thing but what you can expect soon uh, if my again my understanding is correct if you go to multi region basically you have something like Asia 1 which is between what so you are going to have two read write replica one in uh, Tokyo one in Osaka the same thing can happen in future something like Asia 2 where you have one uh, two read write replicas in uh, Delhi two read write replicas in Mumbai so where you get a multi regional spanner uh, instance in India so that is something which you can do and the same logic which I mentioned Google Cloud Storage dual region uh, spanner which is a multi region is possible and the same logic can be applied soon even for Australia once Melbourne comes up so indications shows Melbourne should be coming up soon uh, and Toronto is going to be the next one so even though you see it here Doha is what is going to be coming up so not sure but looking at the VPC uh, I don't see anything on Doha so Toronto New Delhi is already done Melbourne should be something which is going to come up soon 
So that's a concept which I wanted to share today, folks. Like uh, whenever you see new announcement, think as a cloud architect, what is it for you? What can you explore more? So uh, as I mentioned, I'm not an insider, a Google insider, but based on what I have seen, uh, like uh, the Japan example, I took that, tried to extend it, it here. So maybe something of that sort can happen, may not happen, depending on the demands, all those things. But this is a small exploration, which I thought of uh, sharing it with you. I uh, hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.